Hello, Alma. Hello, teacher Jessica. How are you, Alma? I'm fine. I'm fine. I had a nice day with a lot of work, but uh, uh, um, a nice day. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, well, there's always going to be days where you have lots of work to do, but you know, that's just life, right? Yeah, and the good thing is we're almost at the end of the week, just one more day, and then we have, then we have the, um, uh, the weekend, so yay, we're going to be able to relax a little bit, okay? All right, hello, Lorena Mauricio. Hi. Hi, good evening. How are you? Okay, very nice. Happy because today is Thursday. Yeah, I know. Today is Thursday. Yay! Right? Tomorrow, no class. And then, uh, then we start the weekend. Yeah. Uh, so, Lorena, have you found your new place to go dancing? No, I'm looking. Has you're still looking. Okay, you're accepting applications. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'll 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 see if maybe I I know of something. I'll I'll pass you the 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 yeah. curriculum. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to my mind to dance here in my house. Can be just to go out to it and come back to dance here. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it, you know what, and, and, and you gotta, it's, like I said before, maybe uh, this is saving your life, you don't know, so you yeah, look at it through that way, yes, uh, you know, sometimes, I know sometimes we want to go out, and that's, that's natural, but, you know, you just got to be very careful, yeah, all right, Mauricio, how are you, how, how has your day been? Hi, everyone. Hi, Eduardo. How are you? Sorry, I don't hear you. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. You? I'm not bad. I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling relaxed today, um, and um, just happy that we're we're coming close to the weekend. So that's gonna be nice. <laughs> yes, yeah. next weekend. <laughs> Do you have any plans for the weekend, Eduardo? I go to Los Plans with my girlfriend. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you're, what are you going to go do in the planets? Are you going to go eat pupusas or what are you going to do? Yes, I eat uh, pupusas in, in uh, chilate. Chilate, get it. Pupusas in chilate, huh? Wow, okay, very yes. difficult. <laughs> That's good. Are you going to go during the day or at night time? Today. During the day. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's probably better to go during the day because there won't be them. There usually is less people during the day than there is at night time, right? At night time, there are a lot of people and you just got to be very careful, right? Especially yes. if you're going close to the mirador, right? To the to the viewpoint. Yes. Romantic mirador. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> but um, you just gotta, <laughs> you, you gotta be careful uh, because uh, you, it can be very romantic but also very contagious. <laughs> yes, the old people think uh, fine 
and saw the cars in the street. Sorry, what was that? The old people think is great. They saw the cars in the Wall Street. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you gotta be careful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but I, I saw it. the song. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Mauricio. Can you hear us now? Hi. Good evening. How are you? I finished. I finished that phone. You finished everything, Mauricio? I finished Bravo. Wow! Wow, excellent! Bravo, Congratulations! <laughs> wow! My goodness! He, Wow, I'm impressed, Mauricio. Good for you. Excellent. Okay, so you finished everything from the, from the platform? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. Now, if you have not um, asked for your certificate yet, you can still continue practicing and getting a better grade. So um, now that you're finished, you you can just continue getting a better grade every time. So that's wonderful. Very good for you. Okay, excellent. Um, okay, let me see who I haven't said hi to. Janet. How are you, Janet? I'm fine, teacher. Good, good. Any plans for the weekend, Janet? Um, I need to celebrate the birthday for my father. <laughs> oh, yes, I think I remember. Because I, his yeah. name is Valentin. Yeah. <laughs> and that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Was he born on February 14th? He born in 13 February. February. Yeah. He was born on February 14th. Sorry, 13th. Yes. And we celebrate that. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, wow. That's a very interesting name. I, I have, I don't think I've ever met anybody that's called Valentine. That's interesting. Okay, <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, Isayel, how are you? I'm um, great, great, great teacher. Oh, good. Is that great, great, great? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Any particular reason, Isayel? No. Oh, okay, okay. But the the good thing is that you're that you you're feeling good. Excellent. Okay. And let me see, Michelle. How are you, Michelle? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. And you? Not bad. Not bad at all. Doing great. Relaxed. Yeah. Happy to see you. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Or better said, happy to hear you because I, in your case, I just get to hear you, but I'm happy to hear you. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't worry. No, I'm just, I'm just saying I want to correct myself because I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really seeing you. I'm hearing you. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Okay. And Jacqueline, I also want to say hi to Jacqueline. How are you, Jacqueline? I'm fine, teacher, and I'm happy because um, I have um, tomorrow. Tomorrow I have vacation <laughs> because <Ooh>. the <laughs> because the the party patronal in a Oh, you live in a Wachapan? Yes. Ah, okay, interesting. Okay. Uh, are you are are you going to do anything special? Sorry, don't, don't listen. Very good. Are you going to do something special on the vacation for for the party? 
Um, I go with my family um, um, in the place uh, for celebration. It's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, let us know on Monday how that goes then. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I also have Noemi. How are you, Noemi? Noemi, can you hear me? Oh, I think she might have a little bit of problems. So let me say hi to uh, Anna. How are you, Anna? Fine, and you, teacher? Not bad, not bad at all. How 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 was your day, Anna? Uh, fine. Uh, I I was in the morning. I got. I was uh, cleaning the house. Um, I don't have, a, no sé cómo se dice, pero es a work, work house, uh, como trabajadora de casa. Oh, okay. Uh, house worker. House worker. Este, uh, uh, in, the, in the afternoon, uh, I was in the war meeting. In the evening, uh, I was I watched TV. Only that. Okay. Okay. Good. So you had you had a busy week, a uh, busy day, but you also were able to relax, and that's good. That's good. Play and work. <laughs> that's good. Excellent, Anna. Very Thank good. You. Okay, and I think the only person that I haven't said hi to is Oscar. How are you, Oscar? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. I had a, well, a great day. It was hiring my job. Um, then it was busy. Uh, it's correct, it's busy. All right, uh, and then, but at the end, well, uh, I feel relaxed. Sorry, I felt relaxed because well, finished the day and, and everything was good. And then, well, I, and in the day I, I try to, to advance. It's real avanzar, advance. Um, yeah, advance. In the platform. Yeah, advance in the platform. You know. uh -huh. Good, good for you. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, that's right. And, and that was actually the purpose, right? I didn't leave any homework because I wanted you to be able to work in the platform. Excellent. And speaking of the, of the platform, again, I'm going to throw the... Um, the poll again i'm going to launch the poll at you uh just like yesterday i want to see how much we have we have done compared to yesterday so i've sent the the poll again can you please complete it all the sections hagan todo el chequecito todas las secciones que han completado no la que estén trabajando en la que ya completaron All right, excellent. We did it really quick this time. Okay, we everybody has submitted their answers, and this is a result. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, um, this is better. This is much better uh, than we had yesterday. Um, yesterday, uh, we were, you know, some people were, you know, they were not complete very much section one and two now there are more people that have completed this so very good excellent i'm glad to see that 
Um, and there are even two people that are finished uh, the final exam, which means that that you are finished the platform. Excellent, bravo, very very good. Okay, I'm glad to see that. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm going to ask this um again this poll next week just to make sure that we are all, all uh, working on on the platform together that we have we haven't any problems. We don't we haven't had any problems. And speaking of that. Um, Sorry guys, I I was I have a question. Yeah. How much time of the end and the, ex the exam final exam? Sorry, can you repeat the question? How much time of the end the final exam? How much time do you have? Of the end, of the, the final end. exam. The end. Or the finished exam. You do, Are you asking how much time you have to finish the final exam? Is that, is that your yes. question? Yes. OK. okay. Um, Basically, you have one week to finish all the platform. That's right. And the, the final exam, you can do it now if you, have, if you want to. The final exam, you can do it on Monday or on Wednesday. Okay, but make sure that you is there like, finish is, one week the, from today. The reason for my question is I don't begin in the, the final exam. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to have begun the final exam, but by this weekend, you have to have finished section four because we have finished section four. We will have finished section four by the end of today. So yes, I, 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 I go to, to, finish. to section five. Good, good, good. So next, uh, excellent. So you will have next week, we're going to be looking at section five in class. You have all of next week to finish section five and to finish the final exam. So by next week, you have to finish section five and the final exam. Okay. okay? Thank you. All right. Okay. Um, chicos, ay, se me, se me escapó, pero quiero, espero que, by todo, I'm going to ask this in Spanish. Todos metieron papeles, ¿verdad? El día de ayer era el, el, la fecha final. Quiero que con sus manitas eh, virtuales levanten ahí la manita virtual y me, y me indican, la virtual, la, no, no la física, la virtual. Y me indican It's si ya... I have a question. Okay, just, just give me a moment, give me a moment. I'm okay. going to count first how many people. Bye. Manténgala levantada. Eh, okay. Um, la, man, la manita virtual está, okay, la pueden encontrar porque creo que no todos saben a dónde está. Um, bye. La manita virtual la pueden encontrar dependiendo qué versión de, de, de Zoom tienen. Si tienen la más actualizada, la van a encontrar donde están las, la parte de reacciones. En la parte de reacciones, usted le da clic en la, en la barra donde dice reacciones, donde están todas las caritas y todo, y ahí también dice levantar mano. Si, no, si usted tiene la, la, la anterior, la, la versión anterior, entonces tiene que ir donde dice participantes, y ahí se clic en participantes, y ahí le va a decir levantar la mano entonces por favor levanten la mano quienes ya han metido documentos y no la bajen hasta que les diga porque quiero que todos ok um, que todos uh, lo, o sea que quiero quiero contar a todos ok Isael eh, en las reacciones hay donde dice levanta mano porque usted me ha puesto un like 
creo que Lorena igual y Rosalena solo so me pusieron un, un like pero tienen que poner levantar la mano no Lorena Teacher. puso un like eh. ok depende. a mí me sale levantar la mano donde están los tres puntitos ah ok vaya um, está, está en el celular no. En computador está, Carla. Ah. Yo estoy en, Richard, yo estoy en celular y sí, en los tres puntitos donde como que si vamos a escribir en el chat para todos, ahí aparece el apartado levantar mano. Uh -huh. Exacto, exacto. O sea, depende. Ahí depende. Yo estoy en una tablet, teacher. En una tablet. Um, le funciona igual que, que un celular. Eh, Rosa, uh -huh. igual necesito... Que, Rosa ha puesto así de la, la reacción de, de aplauso. Entonces tiene que... Rosa, ¿usted para, está en, en celular? ¿O está en, en compu? No sé. Ah, yeah. computer. Ok, hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí. Um, ok, todavía me faltan algunos, quiero asegurarme. Ok, Ro Lorena ya vi que, que levantó, aunque no, no, todavía no ha podido encontrar dónde más levantar la mano. <ríe> ok, um, Eduardo, ¿se metió papeles? Eduardo, can you hear me? <coughs> yes, teacher. But I don't say the document right now. But you already gave the, the you presented the documents, right? Yes? Ooh. When the When did they eat the last, last sale? Vamos a tardar cuándo se enviaría. Ayer era fecha límite. ¿Usted ya lo ah, mandó? No. Por eso, le, por eso estoy preguntando si ya lo ha mandado. Ok, uh, ok, Eduardo. Um, Mande un mensaje ahorita. Ahorita mismo manda un mensaje preguntando si tal vez, no sé, yo no le puedo garantizar nada, pero tal vez lo aceptan mañana, no lo sé. <coughs> Mande el mensaje así de mi hijo. Si ¿A quién sería? ¿A Bautista o sería Flores? A Soporte. A Jason. A Jason. Ok. ¿Y, ¿Y Jenny? Jenny pudo mandar todos los documentos. Jenny, can you hear me? Peter, yes. I sent yesterday. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Jenny. Okay. You're welcome. And, okay, no problem. And the last one, Jose Arturo, did you send the documents? Yes. Yes, I did. I sent this. I sent um, the, last, the last weekend. Perfecto, ok, va, ok, excelente. Va, eso es lo que me tenía, tenía un poquito preocupada, pero ya, ya estuvo, ya veo que prácticamente todos lo mandaron. Excelente, excelente. So you can, you can, um, you can, uh, what's it called, lower your hand, ok, lower your hand, so, ahí mismo donde, donde subieron la mano pueden bajarla. Ok. 
Okay, very good. Okay, excellent guys. Um, so what we're gonna do in this moment is the following. Um, I want you to, in this moment, I want you to think about your favorite celebrity. Okay, your favorite celebrity. Now, the celebrity can be, it can be a movie star, right? It can be a singer. It can be, um, I don't know, a soccer player, some sort of athlete. It can be a politician, anybody, anybody that is famous, okay? I want you to think about your, 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 your favorite celebrity. Okay, everybody has somebody in mind? Now, what I want you to do is I'm going to get you to write a brief paragraph describing that person. I want you to describe their hair, their eyes, right, um, their skin color, um, their height, okay? Um, you can describe um, their age, you know, if um, you know they're in their, their early 20s late 50s etc etc um give the opinions about them if they are um you know they're beautiful or gorgeous or handsome or cute whatever okay so i want you right now i'm gonna give you i would say about five probably five minutes to write a paragraph in this moment okay about your your favorite celebrity And if you have questions about vocabulary, you can ask me, okay? So if you don't know how to say something, um, you can, you can, um, you can ask me about vocabulary. That's, that's what I'm here for. And you can and you can include like um, special characteristics of the person. For example, if they are, um, if they have like a beard or a mustache, or if they have a beauty mark, dimples, if they wear glasses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you can describe like the texture of the hair, for example, the length of the hair, or if it's, uh, for example, um, you know, the color of the hair. But make sure that you use it in the correct, the, the correct um, structure, right? So you would say, for example, the, um, she has long, uh, straight, blonde hair. So first the length then the texture, and finally the color. Teacher, I, I don't understand, uh, describe, uh, describe um, a king. Who are you describing? You're describing your favorite celebrity. Yes, it can be a, a singer, it could be a, a movie star, it could be a, 
as like, an actor, an actor, um, a politician, anybody. Remember, I'm here to answer any questions. If you have questions about like the verbs also that you need to use, I can answer that. Are we almost finished? Teacher, I have a question, but no is for this, sino que es por la inscripción. <ríe> es que yo mandé mi inscripción el domingo, pero a mí se me olvidó que tenía que mandar el DUI y el NIT. Pero ayer revisé mi correo y Cabal me había mandado que tenía que mandar eso, ¿eh? Entonces lo reenvié el correo, pero ya junto con mi DUI y con mi NIT. Entonces no sé si habría problema. When did they send you the email? Yesterday. El, el primero, el domingo. Que solo fue el formulario de inscripción. Pero ya ayer lo volví a reenviar, pero con mis datos, con mi DUI, con mi NIT. Oh, okay, but I mean, when did you receive the email? When, when did they send you the email for the first time? Eh, Sunday. 
And then they sent you another email yesterday? Yes, es que no me caí en las notificaciones de mi correo. Ok, bueno. Um, what I would do is tomorrow send a message asking if they received your um, your papers and if it's okay. That's, that's what I would do because um, you don't know. You don't know if, um, like if they haven't confirmed that that um, that they have it, then you don't know. So I, that's what I would do. I would, um, tomorrow I would send a message and asking if they received, uh, they received it and, and if it's okay. All right. Justo, ahorita acabo de revisar mi correo y en la tarde me respondieron. Así que todo bien. Ah, oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> Never mind then, yeah. If they already sent you the, the, the message that it's okay, then yeah, perfect. Okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay, are you are we all finished? Are we ready? Okay, good. What I'm going to ask you to do is um I want you to uh, we're going to be working in pairs, sorry, in groups. We'll work in groups, um, and I want you all to share your paragraph, okay, with your classmates. So I'm going to right now divide you um, into groups, okay? Um, it shouldn't take you very long. So I'm going to... Okay. All right, and I'm opening all the groups right now. Cada uno o a otra persona? No, no. Uh, describe your favorite celebrity. For example. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, your family. Um... Your favorite celebrity, an actor, My favorite star, thing. singer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My favorite thing, thing is Laura Pausini. She she's she's tall. She has um a straight black hair. She she's skin. No, she, she has the skin olive. Olive skin. Opposite. Olive, olive skin. skin. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. She is. Um, she is uh, she is pretty. Thank you. Go ahead. Next. Describe a uh, Cristina Aguilera. She's a uh, she's. Um, 
seen she's what does she look like she's tall she's thin she's about 40 years i suppose her hair is blonde and and long She she is Georgius. Um, only that. Gorgeous. 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 Yes. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. In my case, I describe my favorite singer. <laughs> um. Well, and it's Ricardo Arjona, and he was born in Guatemala. He's one of a singer that I like it. He's tall. He's about um, 57 years. He is one meter 80. He has wavy black hair, and he has dark brown eyes. Only that. I would play the Casi no la escuché, lo siento. My favorite player is Pele. Sign he is the best soccer player since I won for World Cup with Brazil. Messi. <laughs> My favorite player is Pelé. Who? Oh. Pelé. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, you. My yeah. my favorite celebrate. Yes. My favorite. Celebrity is my favorite easy. celebrity. Celebrity, thank you. My favorite celebrity is Easy because he, she is from Colombia. She has a curly red hair. She has pretty and beautiful. She isn't jungle, but no, he look, no, 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 no. She is not jungle, but he look, she is she jungle. Is young. Young. She, she is young. She, she he is, young, is she's not young. young. Okay. And Shakira. She, but she is young. Shakira. Shakira. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson is the person uh, which uh, people don't forget. What? Sorry, Israel, but this is mine. Only that. Hello? Okay. Only that. Everybody has passed? Everybody did it? Finished, teacher. Okay, good, good. I'll see you in the main room in a moment.
Okay, wonderful. All right, so um, do you feel that you can now describe people? Is that is that okay for you now? Is that okay? Are, are you having any problems? Teacher, is correct when I say the correct form for said varios? I can say some some pictures, some movies, you know. People. The correct way to say what? For the word varios, I can say sons. For the word values. No, 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 no. For example, uh, varias canciones, varias películas. Oh, many. All right. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. All right. Teacher. Yeah. Um, solo me quedo de la duda de, de why no use she looking is jungle, but say she is jungle. No, the problem is not the verb. The problem is the pronunciation of young. It's not jungle, it's young. Because jungle is jungla. And so it's jungle. So it's, it's okay. Um, okay. You, will, you will learn it. You will, you know, there will come a moment. You just have to um, constantly remember young 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 and then it will be something that automatically will come but it will come you just have to repeat it repeat 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 okay yeah so you could say she looks young right but you just have to be careful with the pronunciation okay yes you're welcome you know what i mean it's a pleasure okay all right what we're going to do right now today we're going to be looking at the last part of this description of people, describing people, and I'm going to be sharing the whiteboard with you, although, hmm, maybe, oh no, I'm going to do it better with the, can you see, can you all see the, the, um, the what's it called um the word document everybody can see that yes 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 yeah. yes yes i can see okay all right perfect so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to explain to you uh, when we, we're going to be looking at modifiers with participles and prepositions, okay? So um, let me write here. I think it'll be easier if I write here. Modifiers. Okay, there we go. Modifiers. with participles and prepositions. Okay, so we're going to be looking at that. Modifiers with prepositions. Have you ever, for example, gone to a party and, the, and um, maybe you don't know 
everybody at the party and they say, oh, um, can you ask Julia to bring me, you know, bring the snacks? And you say, who is Julia? Okay. So, and then they say, ah, they, they describe the person to you, um, describing, for example, the way that they are dressed, right? Or who they are talking to in a in a in the in, in the party, for example. So when you are describing someone, well, first of all, we might start describing with talking about um, the question, right? So you can say, "Who is Julia?" For example, "Who is Julia?" Um, and when, when, like I said, when we're asking this kind of questions, we're asking about basically who the person um, is, who we need to identify. That's what we're doing here. We're identifying who the person is. Okay. Um, let me just make it a little bit easier for me. It's going to fit a little bit more information. Just give me a second here while I fix the, the margins. Okay, all right, so this will, that's a little bit better. So who is Julia? So let's say we are at a party and they tell us, okay, to talk, go talk to Julia. You say, who is Julia? And then we can say, for example, start with, she mm -hmm. is the woman she is the woman. Okay, we start. So we start over here. She is the woman, and then we say what the person is doing. Okay, so we can say um, she is the woman um, next to the window. Yeah, we could say that she's next to the window. Sure, absolutely. Just give me a moment, give me a moment here. Okay, so she's a woman next to the window, could be. But right now what I'm gonna show you though is not, um, is not what, um, where she is. I'm gonna, for example, describe what she is wearing or what she is doing. So we can say, for example, she's the woman um, wearing, wearing a hat say okay she is a woman she is a woman wearing a hat okay um so this part here okay. so this part here is the part um that introduces the person okay so introduces the person change the color here Okay, so she is the woman. Oh. Come on. Okay, there I go. Okay, so she is the woman wearing a hat. This part, wearing a hat, this part in particular, is what we call the participle phrase, right? So this is a participle phrase. Okay. And how we create the participle phrase is by using a present participle, okay? In this case, the present participle is wearing, okay? 
So who is Junia? She's a woman wearing a hat. Okay. Or for example, we can say which For example, we can say which guy is um, Mario. Which guy is Mario? Which guy is Mario? And we can say, and like I said, we can talk. We can talk about what the person's wearing, or also what the person is doing with this one. Okay, so we can say. Uh, He is the one, okay. he is the one, and then we can say, um, playing the guitar. Okay. Like I said, we can say either what the person is doing or what the person um, is wearing. Okay. Here's the one playing the guitar. Okay. Does that make sense for everybody? There we go. What do you say the sentences, teacher? Sorry? Él es un cantante de guitarra o es un tocador de guitarra? El es el que está tocando la guitarra. Ex exactly, yes. So he's the one introduces the person, right? And then here, this part here is the participle phrase, which is saying, like, um, yes, correct. Just like I said, um, he's the one playing the guitar means él es, es, él es el que está tocando la guitarra. So you are describing what you're, des you're identifying the person by describing what the person is doing, okay? So this one too, who is Julia? She's the woman wearing a hat. So it means, oh sorry, it says, ¿Quién es Julia? Ella es la mujer que está, um, que está usando un, un, what's it called? Un sombrero. Sombrero. Okay? Um, so, so it could be, so yeah, you can use either one of them. Or he, um, which one is, which guy is Mario? ¿Quién de los muchachos es Mario? He's the one playing the guitar. Él es el que está, está tocando la guitarra. Does that make sense? Eh, teacher, puede, puede, puede. Yes, Ana. Yes. Eh, teacher. Puede ser eh, que sea look, puede ser activity, eh, el, 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 el verbo, activity, eh, el lugar y look. Yeah, you can be describing what the person is wearing or what the person is doing. Doing, doing or wearing. Exactly. But the important thing is that the verb has to be in the ing form. And this is, even though it looks like a verb, this is not a verb. This is actually an adjective. Okay? okay. So this is an adjective. This is describing, this adjective is describing the woman. This adjective is describing the guy. Okay? All right. Now, it is possible to mention, for example, um, mention about where they are like the place where they are okay um, for example or you can also say you can even describe what they're wearing by doing this you can say for example who who's who's um, who's uh, let me think let me think um, I don't know give me a name Who's Sa Sandra? Who's Sandra? Okay, let's see. Who's Sandra? Okay. 
okay? So who's Sandra? And then we can say, okay, so that's the question. And when we are describing Sandra, you can say that Sandra is, she's the girl, the girl, the girl with, um, she's a girl with curly blonde hair. Blonde. She's a girl with curly blonde hair. So this part here is describing the, it's introducing the person. Okay. And then we have, and then in this case, we're going to be using a preposition. In this case, a preposition, or the prepositional phrase here, is um, the prepositional phrase is with curly blonde hair, okay? And we're going to be using a preposition here, okay? Starting with a preposition. So, who's Sandra? Ella es la chica con pelo... Um, Polochi. Polochi ondula. No, 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 what's it called? Rizado. Riz, ajá, rizado. Uh, what's the word? Amarillo. Pelo rubio rizado. Rubia rizado. Polochi. Or we can also ask again, uh, which one is, um, which ones, which ones, um, John, which one's John? ¿Cuál es John? O sea, ¿cuál de las personas es John? Which one is John? And we can say, he's the guy in the suit. He's the guy in the suit. Okay. And it's a chico. He's the guy. Right? And then in the suit, and the suit is referring to what he is wearing, right? Suit, right? Traje, right? So that we are saying that the person is wearing that. Okay. So again, we're using a preposition. The preposition is in. Okay. Um, we can also, so um, we can describe how they look, what they're wearing, or also we can describe where they are. For example, um, who are the Riveras? Not just one person, we can, who are the Riveras, right? We can describe two people in this case. Who are the Riveras? ¿Quiénes son los Riveras? And they, uh, and then we can say they, they are the people um, next to the next to the um, next to the let's say let's put it next to where can I put it? Next to the table. Okay, sure. The Next wind. To the table. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. So here you're describing yeah. again. We're we're describing. We're introducing the people. We're identifying who they are. And then in this case, we are describing where they are. Okay. And where they are is. next to the table okay and here we're using a preposition 
next two. Next. Okay. So there you go. That mm -hmm. is um, that is the way that we would describe um, the the people, so that somebody can identify them. Okay. All right. So is this clear for everybody, or are you are you still unclear what to how we can describe people this way? Chair, um, in the first uh, sentence, uh, who is Julia? She is the woman uh, wearing a hat. Uh, it's not necessary to put uh, or to say she is the woman that, that is wearing a hat. Yes, you could say she is a woman that is wearing a hat, yes. But this is this is where we use a, a participle. This is what we call a participle phrase, okay? So that's why I have, this is a, another way that we can make it that is shorter, more concise. Um, Does that make sense? No. I don't understand the use of okay. one. Teacher, uh, you don't understand the, oh, the, the one. The eh. one, yes. it's like when you say el que. El es el, el es el que está tocando la, la guitarra. El que. That's, that's what it means, the one. The, the person. This means the one refers to the person. Right? So the one. Okay, in this the, case. The guy, which one, Julia, is correct? Which one is Julia? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es Julia? ¿Cuál, o sea, ¿cuál de ellas es Julia? <laughs> imagine you have two, imagine there, there's a, there are three women. Which one is Julia? O sea, ¿cuál de ellas tres es Julia? Okay? Yeah, okay, well, perfect. Um, Thank you. She is a woman wearing a red dress. She is a woman. She is the woman wearing a hat. Wearing a hat. Wearing. Okay. Wearing Any questions? Glasses. Is she her? Well, I got a question. When we talk about brothers, um, how do you say gemelos? Twins. Twins. Correct, it's twins. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? No, teacher. No more. Okay, in that case, everybody, um, we are going to, I'm going to stop sharing over here. Okay. Um, okay. All right, guys. So we have, uh, we have officially finished um, section number four. You should have enough information there to be able to complete number four. And I will be able to see you on Monday. Okay. So that's it, guys. Take care. See you See Monday. You. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. 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 To complete section four. That's your homework. See you next Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Happy weekend. Bye.